bleach in the bottle because that's all I want is none. It's a bottle. So I'm definitely going to see. I don't want to touch the top. See how it fades out. Oh, I wish I had something really hanging this on. <laughs> it just makes it hard when you really don't have nothing hanging on. And this bottle, I don't know, for some reason this bottle's not working properly. There you go. Oh, see, now you're seeing it starting to bleed through. So I just want to do the bottom part of it. I don't really want to do the top. Bottom of the sleeves. This, this one, and see, that's the only thing I don't like because I can't really hold this. Let's see. One to the bottom of the back. Sides. See, I don't want to bleach it too much because I don't know how, you know, it's going to really come out. That's the point, but you gotta watch it because when it smells like this, and that's the thing I don't like, you get too much on there, it, it builds, it's like a little streak right there going down. Well, oh, this stuff is strong, but you know, just the bottle. Now I'm gonna do the legs. Let's see where I pick. Little part to it. Like I said, this I want it to be kind of light. I don't want to overdo it. You overdo something and it never comes out too right. So this is the bottom part. And I'm gonna have to really get somebody to wear this so I can see how it really come out. I guess I'm gonna have to get my female mannequin. And put out. I just wanted to show you real quick. You know, I do everything by hand. And this is another shirt that I did. Let me show you. Bling, bling. <laughs> That's another shirt I did. And, you know, the solid black in the back. I didn't do nothing to the back. And I just did the front. And this came out nice. This really, really came off. And these are just going to be limited edition. But I'm doing here. Uh, we're not making a whole lot of them. Maybe just do like 12 of them. And um, that's about it. And once I sell out, that is it. You know. So I'm only going to do a few of the bleach. And just like I said, they're all going to be limited edition. You know, once I sell out, that's it. So I'm only going to make like 12 of them. 20 size. You know. And that, that's it, you know, but I love creating. I, I really do love creating. And I got a couple more shirts I need to do that I need to finish up. Hold on. So I just got to finish up. Oh, there's one shirt down the door. Let's see. Like I said, it's always good. If you can afford it, it's always good to have a computer. My Mac. Like I said, I do all my pictures. And video on here. You know, this is my old show. You know, my pictures that I put on here. You know, something's almost over, so just looking at, you know, how to improve my next photo shoot. Definitely how to improve my next photo shoot. You know, so always looking for models too.
it's right now speeding everything up you know because I don't want y'all to be too bored so I'm speeding this up right now so y'all can actually see that on this pin the label on there make sure it's even make sure it's right measuring because the first time I had about four inches and it was way too big four inches by I think it was three and a half so I'll go back over to my computer now I'm making it into two inches two inches and like three quarters that's the width and the height I made it like two and a half I think I made like two and a half in the height you know so I'm putting it into my vinyl cutter right now and let's cut it out Cutting it out. And this expert too, I mean, it's really good if you had the space. Like I said, if you don't have the space, then get a cricket. A cricket that definitely works. So, right now, bringing it over to my desk, cutting it out. You just gotta have patience because there's a lot of sorting out, getting the A's, plucking everything off, you know. And the smaller you get, you gotta be real careful while pulling it apart because it'll start to lift up and you definitely don't want that. And sometimes you gotta watch it because plucking it out, you gotta be careful because sometimes you can stab your hand if you move it too fast. And I punch in my hand a lot of time. That one is a small one, so the small one, I gotta take my time with it. Because I really don't want that to mess up. So now I'm going over to the shirt, pin on the left chest, looking at it, make sure everything ain't up. Yes, it's big, that's how I want it, nice size. Taking over to the heat press. And this is where I made a mistake at. I actually overlap each other. So the vinyl, when I stick, I was sticking the vinyl onto the plastic part and I had to take it off easily. As you see right here, you'll see it. I hit the door right over the top of the seat right there. It was over the top of the plastic. The sill part right there, so I had to take that off and get my tweezers. Come over there, try to straighten it out as possible. I'm glad it's just a sample. And you know, I straightened it out. It came out pretty nice. Then I had to heat press it again. I love this automatic. So once it's done, it pops up itself. There you go. And now, you know, you see? I'm going to put it on the mannequin.